What's up, Sens folks? My name is Jordan Mady, and this is Sens from TO. Earlier this month, Jason Spezza requested a trade, and according to Brian Murray, he felt he was blamed too much when the team struggled. Boy, is there news on that front. The Calgary Flames have made an offer for the Sens star center, but not so fast. According to the Ottawa Sun, there are two reasons why Spezza likely will not be going to the Calgary Flames. One being that he has no desire to stay in Canada. The other being that the return probably isn't good enough. The return thing is a little concerning to me, but I want to focus on the accountability in the five steps to turn this team around and make it a contender. Do not be sour for too long when Spezza is dealt. Yes, he's a human being and he has feelings, but the I take too much blame attitude is not what this team needs if it wants to succeed. Which rather conveniently leads me to step two. Get Curtis Lazar involved early. This guy sweats leadership. If Gatorade had a leadership flavor, it would be called Curtis Lazar. Bad joke, good guy to have on your team. But Sens fans, do not burn the casino down before before it's built. When I say get Lazar involved, I mean get him on the ice and expose him to as many hockey situations as possible. Alright, he obviously isn't the team's next captain, but I do personally think he will be a huge part of the team's leadership core in the next few seasons. Unless he's traded for Ilya Brizgalov or something, weirder things have happened. Does he start the 2014-15 season in Ottawa? Possibly. I say he starts in Binghamton, if anything. But if he is sent back to Edmonton, especially after his unreal performance in the Sens training camp last season, that would be a big mistake. Step three, start playing with Moxie. What does that mean? Well, Urban Dictionary says if you're playing with balls or guts, you're playing with Moxie. Pretty good explanation, right? But what does that mean on the ice? Finish hits. After the 2013-14 season, according to SportingCharts.com, the Senators finished fourth in league hits, and they need to continue that, especially in the Eastern Conference. Put me in, coach. Staying on the topic of body checking, the Sens D-men need to close the gap at the center red line and make a hit before or just after the blue line to separate the man from the puck. I have no idea. Dia, what Paul McClain tells his defensemen to do, but a lot of scoring chances and shots could be avoided if they could stop the other team before they got to the top of the circle. Almost there, folks. Step four, acquire a young roster player. Brian Murray originally set the asking price for Jason Spezza at a young prospect, a young roster player, and a first round draft pick. A little high, but I think he can actually get a young roster player and a draft pick or a prospect but not both. Whether the team gets a roster defenseman or a roster forward is up to Brian Murray and what he believes the team needs going forward. And finally, time. In 2011, the Sens introduced the five-year rebuild plan. That was before they lost the likes of Sergei Gonchar, Daniel Albertson, and probably now Jason Spezza. And based on those moves and what's been said, it appears that management is trying to rejuvenate the team slightly. No matter how you slice it, that extends the rebuild process. But as a very educated hockey fan and friend told me not long ago, 29 teams do not go through full rebuilds every time they don't win at all. The Penguins didn't just fire sale their roster in the four years they failed to make the cup final after they won it in 2009. So, this rebuild is to get the team to the point where they consistently make the playoffs. That may seem like a faraway reality to some, especially after this past season, but you may be surprised at how quickly this could come together for the Ottawa Senators. And it could all start on draft day in Philadelphia. That's it for SFT number two. If you like what you've seen so far, why not stick around and subscribe? I'm Jordan Mady for Hooked on Hockey Magazine. Stay Red Sense fans.